Hello everyone, my name is Pourili. I will be your mentor uh, during these hacking days. I am with Festi Road and we have been supporting IATA building the challenges for this hackathon. So the objective of this video is to walk through the challenges and to explain you where we came from and why we have set specifically these challenges. So I hope that you are all ready uh, for the hackathon. I'm really looking forward to meeting you. In the meantime, um, let's take a look at the NDC challenges. So I will specifically focus on the new distribution capability challenges that we have built. You may have seen we have two challenges. The first one will be focusing on user experience and personalization. The second one uh, will be focusing on artificial intelligence and personalization. Let's take a look at the first one. What we are about to ask you is to improve the passenger experience through dynamic offers. Concretely, what does this challenge mean? So your mission, if you pick this challenge, will be to enhance the traveler's experience by providing them with flexible options to actually personalize their trip. In the meantime, airlines can showcase their products and their services uh, while allowing passengers to actually receive offers that are spot on and useful to them. So where do we come from and why uh, have we built this challenge? The background is important for you um, to understand exactly what is at stake. So first, let's take a look at how airlines differentiate themselves. So, so far, uh, the major criteria for airlines to differentiate from one another were price and schedule. In today's environment, and this is something that you may have noticed as well when you have booked your own flight, airlines are more and more becoming retailers and they are looking at showcasing the flexibility of their offers. So today, uh, this may include what we call ancillary services. Uh, concretely, it is. For example, in-flight Wi-Fi, uh, in-flight menu that you can pre-order before your flight, the choice of a specific seat, it can be an A-seat, extra legroom, services like priority boarding, uh, priority luggage delivery, extra luggage, lounge access, fast track to speed up the time spent at the security at the airport, or even services like airport transfer or even duty-free. So you also may have seen or heard about new aircrafts being acquired by airlines and new configurations on board, brand new seats available, etc. So such services actually influence the passenger experience and there is the opportunity here to make the exact same flight unique to every passenger. Secondly, let's take a look at how airline distribution works. Um, so the airline industry has been relying on distribution systems that were developed during the pre-internet era. Uh, what happened with the internet becoming mainstream is that airlines have gained a better control over the distribution and they have developed their own websites and mobile apps as per the latest technology. So as a result, they have become able to showcase their products and their services the exact way they want it. The consequence, though, is now the existing gap that you may have noticed between the airline.com channel, so that we call the own channel, the airline's own website, the airline's own mobile or smartwatch application, the airline's own chat-based platform, and the intermediaries or travel agents, like for example, Expedia, MakeMyTrip.com, Yatra.com or ClickTrip.com that you may know uh, because they are very big in your market, that is India. So what you have seen probably is that you don't always have the same offer and the same level of information that are available, whether you're shopping on the airline.com or on a travel agency or on MetaSearch. That's the whole point of new distribution capability, sorry, also called NDC. So the NDC standard reduces the gap uh, in between direct and indirect channel by enabling intermediaries to aggregate content from airlines via their APIs and by enabling airlines to display their full portfolio of products to passengers who shop online. 
So for more detailed information on NDC, I really encourage you to take a look at the NDC documentation to get more familiar with the standard. So, for example, uh, what does it mean for you as developers? It means that um, when you are a travel agency, for example, you can build a whole new experience for uh, the travelers, no matter the channel that is chosen. And for the travelers, benefits are actually great. It means that they have a better understanding of the airline's offer, and they also have the possibility to personalize their experience by choosing about their needs and their preferences. It's the end of door shopping, including the ever same filters based on time or flights and fares. For the airlines, it also means that they can build a more qualitative relationship with their customers as they are now able to better know their needs and to push personalized offers to them. So both travelers and airlines actually get value. So this is the type of experience that travelers may get via a travel agency that you see here on the screen. So this is a mock-up, uh, but it helps you to understand um, the level of information that is now available via NDC. So here, for example, you can see that you can build just for you offers. So again, very personalized offers. And you allow the travelers to actually compare apples with apples based on the services that are provided by the airlines at the different price range. Again, uh, you can, for example, switch on the personalized search or anonymous search. This is something, again, that just aimed at inspiring you. I don't want to prevent uh, any one of you from being creative. And I mentioned seats, for example. Uh, this is an opportunity as well to include pictures and rich content. So in short, uh, we're here really talking about the experience pyramid um, and the enjoyable um, thing is often missing when you're thinking about online shopping. So here it's really about improving this experience. So going back to the challenge, your mission is really to enhance the passenger experience by enabling them to personalize the airline's offer as per their preferences. Think about what options uh, they could need at any moment of their trip or their shopping experience. Think about the inspirational phase. Think about shopping while they are already online. Think about the booking experience. But then as well when you start to get ready for your trip several days before uh, your flight. Think about the transfer to the airport. Think about the experience at the airport but as well the experience at the destination, all the level of information that you may need as a traveler. Um, again, what is important for you, I would advise to take a look at every API provider documentation to understand what type of data they are providing um, and what data set you can actually play with. This will really help you to build your solution and to consider scenarios that you can demonstrate. So a hint for you um, is to actually consider uh, Internet of Things. So travelers by definition are often on the go. Um, so wearables or Internet of Things make a lot of sense on the top of mobile, of course. But Internet of Things is said to, be, to become very big uh, in the next 10 years. So with this in mind, I really invite you to imagine the opportunities that this technology holds for the airline industry to create really a truly personalized experiences. It can be smart clothes, wearable technologies, but the only limit is basically your imagination. Now, let's focus on the second standard, um, really uh, much uh, focused on artificial intelligence and how you can identify the traveler behavior to provide a personalized journey. What does this challenge mean concretely? So your mission will be to help airlines understand the traveler's expectations and provide them with personalized offers based around their needs and around the company needs in case you pick the business travel challenge. We're talking here about delivering automated, connected and personalized experiences and measure effectiveness. But let's start with the context. Travelers actually crave personalization and personalization is all around us. Uh, we are all consumers and user experience is king. So what consumers want 
is no me. We want easy and enjoyable experiences and we have expectations. So for example, when we're going at Starbucks, our name is written on our cup. Nike or Adidas gives us the possibility to personalize our own shoes. Coca-Cola has actually recorded a 10% sales increase when they introduced the personalized cans. So when it comes to travel, uh, we expect brands to know where we live and where we are going, what we like and when we need the services. So think about this uh, when you fine tune your idea. Today, consumers can get what they want and when they want. So as a result, they are more curious, demanding and impatient than ever before. So this shift expands across purchasing behavior and we are seeing changes in the travel industry. So that's what we are uh, challenging you to, to, to build new solutions. Tomorrow's travelers will actually want to travel the, the world in just one way, which is their own way. And Every day, actually, opportunities to woo travelers exist. Maybe you have had a hotel uh, where they know whether you prefer a room closer to the elevator or located on a high floor before you check in. Or you had an airline employee that proactively greets you with your, with your drink of choice. So there's a lot at stake around these moments of truth. Firstly, they leave a very good impression and secondly, they may also have a positive impact on long-term business outcomes for airlines. Actually, according to a recent study that Google conducted with Focusrite, nearly 6 in 10 US travelers feel that brands should tailor their information based on personal preferences or past behaviors. So a personalized journey um, affords travelers, whether they are individual travelers, couples or families, a stress-free travel experience that is perfectly suited for their preferences and needs. And it shows the potential of using past travelers' behavior to offer truly unique travel products and services. So similarly, um, connecting results of the survey to the quality of predictive travel marketing models is the only way to make them better over time and to truly grow the customer lifetime value for airlines. According to the same study, if a travel brand tailored its information and the overall trip experience based on personal preferences or past behavior, 76% of US travelers would be likely or extremely likely to sign up for the brand's loyalty program. And 36%, so one over one in three, would pay more for more tailored information and experiences. So there is a real need here. So going back to our challenge, the trick for you is really to identify travel patterns and travel preferences to personalize their experience. Personalizing the travel journey begins with understanding the traveler behavior and predicting what they will need even before they begin the booking process. You will be invited to explore how artificial intelligence can help achieve that goal to understand the traveler better and to personalize their travel experience. There is a great opportunity to assist today's travelers with decision making at every step of the journey. Airlines can actually seize the opportunity to personalize their passengers' experiences, leveraging AI even before they embark on a trip. So you as developers have the ability now to build such solutions. And for example, consider the following ideas. Now uh, more, more and more travelers are turning to digital for assistance. Airlines can connect with customers when they first express intent through online inspiration or research. Here is the opportunity to segment their audiences, combine first and third party data and use machine learning to connect with customers. On the other hand, traveling, uh, travelers are becoming increasingly savvy and customer reviews are just one way for them to express their views on a trip and to analyze the pros and cons of any destination they wish to travel to. By analyzing what travelers are saying, airlines can use these user-generated content to tailor and personalize their services to allow for a more satisfactory travel experience. So this is only two areas that I encourage you to explore. Of course, your imagination is the only limit. There is a variance for business travel. 
Um, when it comes to business travel, um, it involves complying with what we call a, a company travel policy. So bear in mind that business trips are a source of expense for companies. Um, travel managers will systematically be looking at optimizing the costs that are involved. So to simplify things, let's say that companies reference suppliers and come up with agreements with airlines. So this is what we call the travel program. Employees will be asked to manage their travel arrangements via corporate tools, so a dedicated tool to book their trip, via an expense management tool to log and claim their expense. So there are a certain number of processes in place defined by the travel management department within the company, and this is what we call the travel policy. In the meantime, the corporate world has observed a massive influence coming from the consumer world uh, in the past years. So very logically, a business traveler will be expecting an experience that is very similar to the one that they will have as a leisure traveler. So personalization is everywhere in their consumer life, so why not in their corporate life? So your mission will be to help corporations, companies, to provide them with such an experience. So with that in mind, imagine how a business traveler can still have a fully personalized experience that grants him or her with an enjoyable journey while enabling a more efficient trip and a better monitoring of costs for the travel manager. So I invite you to think about how personalization helps a business traveler save time in the event of a flight disruption Think about services that would allow them to find a nice place for dinner or to visit a city they don't know, based on their personal preferences, and even get a ride to the airport, for example. So I will, of course, be here for you to answer any question you may have. Um, this was really aimed at um, clarifying the challenges, um, make you understand why we came up with those challenges and the background behind this. So I'll be very much looking forward to exchanging with you. Pick your challenge, start thinking about your idea. You have the ideation platform available to ask any question and I'll be very happy to be in touch with you very soon. Thank you very much for listening to this. See you soon.